Welcome to News Beast International Edition. Big elections, Rula, in France this Sunday. Last night, Sarkozy and Hollande had a pretty contentious debate. What was your takeaway? Well, it was one of the most brutal debates uh, that French people ever seen. Sarkozy seemed very aggressive. He kept on calling Hollande liar, liar. Uh, he kept on actually telling him, uh, dismissing him and being condescending with him about his ideas and interrupting him. And he seemed very nervous and very desperate. Uh, Hollande kept very, he stayed calm. He didn't talk about his program and what he would do for the country in terms of economics or foreign relations. He kept on hammering Sarkozy on the things that he did wrong. Uh, the economy, uh, his views of the immigrations, and his, uh, the way he talks about the Muslim um, majority, minority, how we want to call them. There are four million people that they live in France. Uh, he seemed very calm, and most of the people, and this morning all the newspapers in France, they look at Hollande in a way that they looked at Jacques Chirac. That hmm. He's the father of the nation and he's the one that is actually very calm and very embracing. So it will help Hollande. That's fascinating. And, and right now Hollande is seen as having an edge running into the runoff because all the polls have really shown that not only Sarkozy has been suffering, but Hollande might be able to unify that center-left support. So that's interesting that you raised the Chirac parallel because that's uh, sort of unexpected. Um, well, Chirac was loved. Jacques Chirac was very loved. His opposition to the Iraqi war really made him become a national hero. But not only that, he didn't reform really the economy and it was stagnant yeah. in France. The people, they didn't care. They wanted to see a reassuring old man that talked to the nation um, in a very charming way, that never interrupted anybody, that was respectful, that was smiling the whole time, and that was funny sometimes. This is what Hollande seems to be yesterday, very respectful, never interrupted, and uh, never condescending. He seems to show the, the nation that we can have a different path from Sarkozy. People were comparing Sarkozy this morning to Berlusconi, prime minister, ex-prime minister of Italy, actually a, a, a combination between Vladimir Putin and Silvio Berlusconi, which See, is not, not a good sign. That's not a compliment, I don't think, in any country. It's not a compliment um, in any country. What's fascinating to me is, is that I think Americans have a lot of affection for Sarkozy because he is so unapologetically sort of pro-American. He's, he's a very American figure in some respects, sort of quintessential individualist, somebody who's willing to sort of upset the apple cart, as we'd say here, but it hasn't You wouldn't want well. Sarkozy here in this country. Somebody He'd that make a good mayor his, of New York. But. He would be a great mayor of Texas, maybe some kind of city in Texas, but not here. I mean, the man was famous. I mean, his ex-wife, Cecilia Sarkozy, used to say that he, you know, he sleeps with girls. He doesn't even remember the names. He's a cheater. He's somebody that's had so many affairs Wouldn't over that and over and France? over. I don't mean to be stereotypical. Maybe in but France, but not after a right. strauss -Kahn case. Ah. That was a defining moment for the French people. They decided that they don't want that trash anymore. And, you know, the mm. image of him marrying a supermodel that was naked in every cover story that... Uh, i got to say, I uh, think that kind of... Which is, I, I find her gorgeous, yes, but uh, for French, French people are snob, and they are very traditional. They might show, you know, their sympathy to these girls and, of course, models and supermodels and like them, but not as a first lady. Plus, Sarkozy has an issue with money. Uh, did we notice that many times he was wearing the Rolex uh, watch... That watch actually cost something between 60 to 80,000 euros. In a moment where you have economic crisis and you're asking people to cut jobs and to pay more taxes, austerity, austerity, and you're showing yourself as the man that actually is friendly with wealthy people, did not help Sarkozy. That was, he was gauche, to he use was. a French term. Uh, so so you, you believe last night Sarkozy on defensive looking desperate Desperate. It does seem like Hollande is uh, cruising to a win on Sunday. That would be your prediction. My prediction would be, uh, and of course, I'm not the French people in the audience, but I would say that uh, they would be very close, not very far away, because some people would be scared. They, some people like the, the, the strong Sarkozy that jump on the plate and decide uh, we will go to Libya and we'll do this. But other like people like actually the calm side of Hollande, and they want to change, a change in path of the language that is used in the French politi Final politics system. Final thing, will this be seen as a referendum on austerity, both its economic and political consequences? Big time, big time, because we've seen what's happening in Spain, you know, austerity all the way down in Italy, but people are revolting against it because if it touched everyone and everybody, 
fine, but the fact that it's touching the middle class and actually the lower, you know, the lower class and rich people are still the one that are not being hammered or mm. not paying their fair taxes, that will, that actually alienating the public opinion. And in, you know, in Sarkozy's case, his pictures with these billionaires and their yachts and, and in their uh, helicopters and in their homes will not help him. All right. Well, Rula, thank you very thank much. You. French presidential elections this Sunday. This time, it matters to America.